Amen, amen, amen. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and I am Ometa. Praise God in whom all blessings flow. I talked about an alliance with Christ on Thursday, June the 1st, and today I want to share some thoughts on Romans 8, theme, Walking in the Spirit. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Father God, it's in the precious name of Jesus that we seek your face and your guidance, your leading power over our lives. We thank you, Lord, to know that you are a present help in a time of trouble. You are the bridge over troubled waters. You are our strength when we are weak. You are our way to see when we see no way. You are our confidence when we can't find any. God, we give you praise. We thank you for your word this morning that encourage us that there is hope in the word. There is hope in the word, God, and we give you praise. We ask, O oh God, that you would look down upon the sick and afflicted, the poor and the needy, those standing in need of prayer, calling out for prayer this morning. We ask, God, that you would touch and deliver and set free. You know our controlling issues and you know how to fix them and we seek you as the author and finisher of our faith in jesus precious name amen amen you know there is no no condemnation to them that walk in the spirit and not after the flesh amen i want jesus to walk with me Hallelujah. We have been used to walking in the in the flesh, which is connected to the negative things of this world. Our flesh time our flesh sometimes becomes like metal and the world is a magnet. And no matter how we struggle, amen, sometimes it seems to pull us against where we want to go. Thank God for grace and mercy. It is through his grace and mercy that causes us to see his love, and that love pulls our emotions and feelings that evoke us to want to walk closely with Jesus. In Psalms 46 and 1, it says, God is the refuge of his people and a conqueror of nations. God is our refuge and strength, our very present help in time of trouble, in times of trouble. That God sent the word that became man and gave that man gave his life as a sacrifice will always be with us. If you have accepted him as Jesus Christ, you have the benefit of him walking with you. He promised never to leave or forsake you. He is our present help in times of trouble. Romans 7 and 5. For when we were in flesh, the sinful passions which were aroused by the law were at work in our members to bear fruit to death. Passions can be a good thing, but when they are allowed, they can become attached to negative things. Passions is sometimes an uncontrollable emotion. We being like children will have a tendency to always gravitate to what we have been told not to do. The law 
the Ten Commandments, shows us what to do, but in it it had no power whatsoever to help us to accomplish it. So God, through his Son, sent Jesus, and Jesus sent the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is here to live in us, to empower us, to be able to accomplish the law in our passions, our appetites, our desires, and our will. Paul knew the struggle. So he wrote, when I would do good, evil was there. I was always aware. I became drastically aware. We can note from the writings. Paul wrote, it was not me, but the sin that lies in me. The law shows us where sin is. Romans 7 and 21. I find then a law that is evil is present with me, the one who wills to do good. Where is evil? Evil is around the ones who want to do good. It is all around us and it has a job. And that job is to bring us death, to help us to steal, uh, to kill. And that's what we see going on. Evil is always around us. Paul writings let us know he has seen this law and has found the answer. In Romans 8 and 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. We walk according to the Spirit, and we can sing that song with all our heart. Walk with me, Jesus. Walk with me. Have you been trying hard to be a better Christian and finding it harder to pull away from the power and passion of sin that has been robbing us of our ability to stand against the wiles of the enemy? Then maybe we need to take a look, a closer look, at Paul's remedy and walk after the things of the Spirit. Oh, we wonder within ourselves, how can we do that? How do we walk in the Spirit? Well, I've heard this acronym, WWJD. If we walk in WWJD in our daily walk and follow it, guess what, my brothers and sisters? We will then be walking in the Spirit and not fulfilling the law of the flesh. Amen. <laughs> and we will be glorifying our God. Walk with me, Jesus, every day of my life. Walk with me. Be my friend, Jesus. Be my friend. He was a friend to Abraham, and he can be a friend to us today. Walk with me. God loves you, and so do I. Keep distancing. Wear gloves and masks when necessary. Work out your own soul salvation. Walk with him. Take a deep look at Romans 7 and 8 and hear in the writing what Paul is saying. We can walk after the Spirit and not after the flesh. Have a good week. Amen. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. It's a little dreary outside, but it can be happiness on the inside. Amen. God bless you.